Have you ever wondered where the cheapest places to buy a house in Portugal are? Well, let's take a journey into the burgeoning real estate market in this beautiful country. With property prices experiencing an average rise of 10% in 2021, Portugal has become an attractive destination for investors worldwide. A significant portion of this growth is attributed to foreign investment, which accounts for approximately a quarter of all transactions. This surge is largely driven by the Golden Visa program, attracting investors from China, Brazil, and Turkey, among others. But it's not just the investors who are drawn to Portugal. The pandemic has sparked a shift in housing preferences, with a growing demand for spacious properties with outdoor spaces. This change in trend has led to a rise in interest in suburban and rural areas, offering a breath of fresh air away from the bustling city life. So where are these affordable gems located? Let's dive in. Gaviao, Figueira de Castelo Rodrigo, and Nisa are the top three cheapest towns to buy a house in Portugal. So, let's delve into the charm of these budget-friendly havens, shall we? First up is Gaviao, a quaint town nestled in the district of Porto Alegre. Known for its stunning landscapes and rich history, Gaviao offers a serene lifestyle away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Now here's the sweet part. The average price per square meter in Gaviao is a mere 401 euros. Yes, you heard it right. All this beauty and tranquility can be yours without burning a hole in your pocket. And don't worry about accessibility. Gaviao is well connected by train and bus services. Next on the list is Figueira de Castelo Rodrigo, situated in the district of Guarda. This town is a treasure trove of medieval architecture, perfect for history buffs. The cherry on top? The average price per square meter here is a budget-friendly 415 euros. And just like Gaviao, Figueira de Castelo Rodrigo is readily reachable via public transportation. Last, but certainly not least, we have Nisa. Also located in the district of Porto Alegre, Nisa boasts of a rich cultural heritage and enchanting natural beauty. The average price per square meter in Nisa? A cool 430 euros. And yes, accessibility is not an issue here either. Thanks to the efficient train and bus services, these towns offer great value for your money, but what about districts? Stay tuned as we explore more about the most affordable districts in Portugal in the next scene. Adding to the list, we have two more affordable towns, Alcutim and Freixo de Espada Asinta. Alcutim, a hidden gem tucked away in the Algarve region, offers serene river views and traditional houses. Imagine waking up to the sight of the sun shimmering off the tranquil waters of the Guadiana River and spending your days exploring the charming cobblestone streets. And the best part? The average price per square meter here is just 450 euros. Yes, you heard that right. All this can be yours without breaking the bank. And don't worry, Alcudum is easily accessible by road. Next, we head to the northeastern corner of Portugal to Freixo de Espada Asinta. Known for its sprawling vineyards and breathtaking views of the Douro River, this town is a haven for wine enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. And you won't believe the price. The average price per square meter here is a mere 460 euros. Accessibility is not an issue here either, thanks to the well-connected road network. These towns are not only affordable, but also offer a unique Portuguese lifestyle. So, if you're dreaming of owning a piece of paradise in Portugal, without burning a hole in your pocket, Alcudum and Freixo de Espada Asinta could be the perfect fit for you. Stay tuned as we explore the most affordable districts in Portugal in our next scene. If you're looking for a district, Guarda is your best bet. Yes, you heard it right. Guarda stands out as the most affordable district to invest in real estate in Portugal. Nestled in the heart of the country, it's a place where the old world charm meets the modern lifestyle. The average price per square meter in Guarda is a mere 654 euros. Quite a steal, wouldn't you say? This makes it an attractive option for those looking to get the best value for their money. And it's not just about the affordability. Guarda offers a unique blend of historical architecture, stunning landscapes, and a relaxed lifestyle that's hard to resist. Now let's take a quick detour and head over to the Portuguese islands. Ever dreamed of owning a home on an island? If the answer is yes, then the Nordest municipality in the Azores is worth considering. Known for its breathtaking natural beauty, the Azores is a paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers. And the best part? Nordeste is the cheapest municipality to buy a house among these islands. So whether you're drawn to the rural charm of Guarda or the island allure of the Azores, Portugal offers a range of affordable options to suit every taste and budget. But what do you need to do to buy a house in Portugal as a foreigner? Let's find out. In addition to Guarda and the Azores, there are two more districts that offer exceptional value for your money, Castelo Branco and Beja. Let's explore them, shall we? Firstly, Castelo Branco. Known for its historical landmarks and natural parks, 
This district is a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. From the medieval castle that gives the city its name to the Geopark Naturteo, a UNESCO global geopark, there's no shortage of sites to see. And the best part? The average price per square meter here is just over 700 euros. Affordable, isn't it? Now, let's head south to Beja. Located in the heart of the Alentejo region, Beja is a testament to Portugal's agricultural roots. The region is dotted with traditional white houses, and the landscape is a beautiful blend of rolling plains and vineyards. It's an affordable option for those seeking a peaceful lifestyle away from the hustle and bustle. The average price per square meter here? A mere 670 euros. These districts, Castelo Branco and Beja, offer a mix of history, culture, and affordability, making them ideal for real estate investment in Portugal. But what does it take to buy a house here as a foreigner? Let's delve into that next. Buying property in Portugal as a foreigner requires a few steps. It's not as simple as picking out your dream home and signing the paperwork. You'll need to navigate the ins and outs of the Portuguese property market. And that starts with getting a Portuguese tax identification number. It's an essential part of the process, allowing you to open a bank account, sign contracts, and of course, pay your taxes. Next, you'll need to establish a Portuguese bank account. This is a requirement for buying property in Portugal, and it's where your funds will be transferred when you make your purchase. It's a relatively straightforward process, but it's always best to seek advice from a professional to ensure all your bases are covered. Speaking of professionals, it's highly recommended to work with a Portuguese lawyer who has experience in real estate transactions. They'll be able to guide you through the process, ensure all the paperwork is in order, and help you avoid any potential pitfalls. And let's not forget about property insurance. It's mandatory in Portugal, and it's there to provide coverage for any damage to your property, as well as liability. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind when you're investing in a new home. So, are you ready to take advantage of these affordable real estate opportunities in Portugal? Before we wrap up, if you've been intrigued by the potential of Portugal's real estate and want to continue your journey of discovery into Europe's property markets, don't forget to subscribe to the European Hub for your gateway to all things European. See you in the next video.